What's going on guys? Pokemon Trainer George here back with another opening for you. Today we have a pretty new product with uh, which I ordered a little while ago. It just took some time to get to me. But you know what they say? You should never judge a book by its cover. Because some things can be small but mighty. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Anyway, so today I have the Small But Mighty Premium Collection set, which comes with the uh, promo card, some goodies, and a bunch of packs. Been pretty excited to get this here and open it up. Got a bunch of packs in here, too. I believe it comes with 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. So, um, you know I don't mess around. Let's get right into it. Handy dandy Batarang. Functional sharp points. Pin contains sharp points. Oh, well, I guess that's good they let you know. You never know. And again, I guess Pokemon is mainly marketed to kids. And here I am. <laughs> but I love it. So we're going to get right into the opening. Slide the plastic off. Let's see. Pop this side. Slide it on out. And here we are. All right. So... I'm not even sure what packs come in here off the top of my head, but we will find out. All right, let's try to be gentle. Okay, this is as gentle as I'm gonna get. Flip this over, pop this plastic out, get the code out of here, and right off the top we have Togepi Cluffa. Cluffa. Wow. Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. This nice little promo version of it, which I got. Nope, that is not one of my good sleeves. We'll grab one of these really cheap penny sleeves I got over here, slide it in there. Now, this is a really cool promo, though. I really like it. Um, put that in there ever so gently. I love any pretty much full art card, but this is nice. It's all the little fairy babies with uh, some Pokeballs, Master Ball. We got a dive, and what is that, a net ball in the back? And then we have an Ultra and a, it's not a Cherish, is it? No, Cherish are the red ones. It's a Love Ball, maybe, in the bottom right here. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but I love the texture they do on some of these newer Pokemon cards. But this is really cool. And a pretty nice promo to have. I'm trying to kind of grab up, since I'm just re-getting back into collecting Pokemon cards, I'm trying to grab all the promos I really can. So once I saw this set, I knew I had to get it. Yeah, that's a, that's a really, really cute card, though. Rolling Panic and Supreme Puff. Sounds like something they would do. We're going to set that down right here. Let's get all these packs out. Oh, they even have a handy dandy finger place to just scoop them out. All right, we'll put these to the side for right now. We'll get to those in a second. We have a Eagly Buff, Cleffa, and Togepi. No keychain part. Where's the sand in the back? 2020 Pokemon. This is a little cute thing though. I don't know if I'm going to put it on my keychain or anything, but maybe I'll, I'll hang it back there for the next videos. We have a little, this is where the Batarang comes in handy. We have a little pin of them. This is actually pretty cool. I, I didn't even see that it came with all these extras. I just saw the promo and the packs and I was like, well, let's get it. But that's a, that's a nice little pin. And then, of course, the coin for my ever-growing ever growing Pokemon coin collection. We have Cleffa, Togepi, and Igglybuff again. I wonder who's the person who has, like, the most Pokemon coins in the world, who has, like, ever since the first set. they got to have hundreds, and I don't know why I wonder these things. All right, so let's take a look at what packs we got. We have a Rebel Clash, Burning Shadows, a Sun and Moon. Darkness of Blaze, a Sword and Shield, a Steam Siege, a Crimson Invasion, and another Sun and Moon. Okay, so we got one of these, two of all of these. Okay. All right. Where to start first? Should I flip a coin? All right, we're going to get into the Steam Siege, Steam Siege first. Say that five times quick. And then we'll start opening them up like that. All right, Steam Siege. We got a Golden Yvetta on the front, I believe. I think so. Okay, 
Pack number one, guys. We'll crack this bad boy open. If you've been watching all my openings, I hope you're proud of me that I'm slowly tapering out the little baby scissor because I just don't feel like a real Pokemon trainer if I can't open my own packs. So get the coat out the way, two, three, four, slide it over there and let's see what we got. Nope, totally botched it with this packs. <laughs> I think it's three for the older packs and four for the newer ones, but we'll start with the uncommons. That is a very, very large brave, Braviar, Braviari, Braviari. That's what I said the first time. Look at that guy though, he had, one too many uh, turkey legs on Thanksgiving. Okay, well, we have a Nuzleaf, a Steelix Spirit Link, a Litleo. <laughs> His face is <laughs> a knitter and male. Wow, that's actually, that's really beautiful artwork. That is easily my favorite knitter and artwork I've ever seen. With him in the city and everything, that's pretty cool. A nose pass, a hop hip, a crayon hop hip or colored pencil, it looks like. A, <laughs> a terrified meow. But what is he holding? A plant that's that's getting destroyed. I guess I missed the story for what's going on in Steam Siege, but we have a terrified meowth, a reverse shielden, shield on. That's cool. The steel reverse foiling is really nice. And for the rare, we got a, I almost don't even want to try to pronounce the name because it's just, it's just going to be bad. A Dredagon, Dredagon, that has to be it, right? We'll take that. Okay, so that's the Steam Siege pack. I'm actually just going to move these down here. So reverse rare and all the other cards. Okay. Next, let's get into a sword and shield pack with Zashian on the front, my main man. Just gonna pull this open. We're gonna remove a code. One, two, three. Let me just double check. Okay, so these ones are four, gotcha. Okay, flip it over and we have a water energy. A Thwacky. A Lucky Egg. I need so many more of these in Pokemon Go to hit 40 by the end of the year to get that really cool Gyarados cap. I think I have like one. Oh, well, guess I'm gonna be uh, putting some money into a mobile game. A Lucky Egg, a Dubwool, big thicky boy, a Krabby, a Grookey to go with our Thwacky, a Mudbray, a Hoot Hoot, a Pinchurin, a Pincurchin, a Pincurchin. Oh, like a Pincurchin. Like a pin cushion, but a pin, a pin, or pink urchin, pin, pin searchin, pin, ch I have to take a class, honestly, a Pokemon pronunciation class somewhere. A reverse foil grookey, is that the same grookey we just got? Uh, where'd you go? It is, but we got one in foil. Well, I'm destroying these cards. Okay, we'll fix that. And for the rare, we have a knocked owl to go with the hoot hoot. Okay. Nothing too spectacular, but hey, we got eight other packs to go. I'm going to put these like that. All right, let's do a Rebel Clash. Show my other videos. I open tons of Rebel Clashes. Watch this be the one I get something really crazy in. Okay. Rebel Clash in one, two, three, four. We have a Fire Energy to start us off. A Tool Scrapper. Scraper. Scrapper. Scraper. I sound very um, uneducated in these videos. I, I really apologize. This is not a representation of who I am in real life. We have Dan. Okay. A Carcoal. A Time Pole. A Trubbish. A Helioptile. A Hone Edge. One of my favorites. A Litwick. For the reverse, we got a Masquerine. Masquerine? Sure, we'll go with that one. And for the rare, we got a Clefable. Okay. A foil Clefable. This looks like it's from like the Nightmare Before Christmas or something. The artwork looks terrified. This version, this artwork of Clefable, I can totally see becoming a Gengar. 
since that's like a theory. Okay, that's a quote fable. All right, so I guess we'll get into the Crimson Invasion, since we only have one that, and then we'll start hitting the two ofs. What is this thing's name on the front? It's an Ultra Beast. I just caught it in Sword and Shield the other day. No, I can't remember for the life of me. Cartana or something? Oh, we'll get a code out of the way. Oh, one, two, three. Let's just double check. Um, four is the energy. Okay, cool. So we have a darkness energy. A Hakamo O. A counter catcher. Side note, Hakamo O and their whole evolutionary line, I just... Is one of my least favorite dragons. I don't know. Something with the scales and stuff. Not that I dis dislike him, but if I were to become a dragon trainer, he probably wouldn't make the cut to make it on my team. Anyway, counter catcher. A haunter. It's a pretty creepy looking haunter. A swinum. A numal. A mincino. A misdrevious. Oh, that is a creepy misdrevious. That is really cool art though. A Alolan Geo dude. For the reverse, we have a fighting memory for, oh man, type null and silvely. There we go. And for the rare, we got a mammoth swine. Okay, well, we got the swinub and the mammoth swine. No pillow swine, but okay. No crazy hits so far. The Clefable's cool, but um. Let's go backwards. We'll start with a Darkness Ablaze, a Sword and Shield, with the G-Max Santa Scorch on it. Actually, they're both the Santa Scorch pack. Oh, that one's different. All right. Pop this bad boy open. Get rid of a code. A one, two, three, four. And let's see what we got. A Darkness Energy. A Familiar Bell. Don't know what that's from. A Struggle Gloves. Also, I don't know what that's from. A Clang. One of my least favorite Pokemon is Clang. I hate running into this thing in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hate running it into it and I don't even know if it's in Pokemon. I just, ah, man. I don't, I do not like this thing. A Gothita. Gothita. A Nicket. I do love the little fox boy. A Shelmet. That's actually really nice artwork. It's like very modern anime artwork for the Shelmet. A Larvitar. One of the best Pokemon ever. And this is a real, this is a real cute one. A Grimer, about to thrust his grimy arm in your face. For the reverse, we got a Paris. And for the rare, we got a Stunfisk V, okay. A Galarian Stunfisk V. Well, that's not too bad, I'll take a, I'll take a V. We got our first interesting hit out of these packs. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the, um, the tag team promo that came in the set, but this is, this is definitely a pretty cool pull. This fake little Pokeball ready to eat you up when you step on him. All right, well, we got a Galarian Stunfisk. That's not too bad. We're going to crack into our second Darkness Ablaze. Oh, he looks he looks really angry, man. It is a very upset Pokemon. All right, our second Darkness Ablaze. Oh, I'm definitely butchering this pack. Okay, got code out of the way. One, two, three, four. For the energy, we got a steel energy to go with our Galarian Stunfisk. Perfect enough. We have a Simipor. I really dislike all three of these uh, Simians. We have Spikemuth. Spikemuth. I, I know uh, a lot of people talk about how Sword and Shield is like really barren. The cities aren't that much to do, but I like the design of a lot of the cities. Spikemuth being one of them, and Balonia, the fairy place where um opal is that whole that is one of the if not the most beautiful town in any pokemon game don't at me okay this is spike month a bird keeper a little rowlet jigglypuff it's your older brother hi hey, sister a diglet <laughs> in front of a big diglet statue okay not sure where they do that at a pampor to go with our simi pour but that's neither here nor there a spinnerack for the reverse, we got a ducklet. <laughs> it looks like they're all like trotting in a line, like an army of ducklets coming to get you. Okay. And for the rare, we got a... Mm -hmm. 
we're just gonna move on. Okay, we'll do a sun and moon, we'll do a sun and moon, then a burning shadow. Yeah, we'll bounce back and forth. Sun and moon with Lunala on the front. Lunala? I think so. Uh, actually, don't think I've ever opened any of these packs pure, so let's find out exactly what's in them. We have a fighting energy, a Krakarok, rock, or maybe I have because this card looks very familiar. A Brione, 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 a big mol <laughs> Molasada. Is that jelly or is that like a hot dog inside there? Looks like a donut with like cylindrical circular hot dog filling. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be eating that. A Wingle, a Puplio, a Growlithe, a very charming dapper Growlithe, a Grubbin, a Zubat. A reverse herdier. And for the rare we got oh wow, that's awkwardly almost perfect, huh? For the rare we got a stoutwind. What are the chances? Uh, we're actually still gonna keep Stunfisk above the mole since that is our coolest pull so far. You know what? We'll just do the other sun and moon with um Wow, why am I blanking on his name? It's uh Soglio. Solgaleo. Yes. Okay. It's been a long day. All right. Code. One, two, three, four. Let's flip, flip. A Fire Energy. A Dark Tricks. I love the whole Rowlet line. It's one of... One of, if not my favorite grass starter. Though Rillaboom is pretty cool too. But no, I think, I think Rowlet definitely takes it for me. I actually saw a meme on, online the other day that Rowlet goes from wearing a bow to evolving into um, his final form where he's wielding a bow. It's a big brain play there, Game Freak. We have a Great Ball. A, oh man, this is going to be one. A Puku, a Puku Muku. Innards out. Very appropriate since that's his ability in game. A Torkoal. A Rowlet again. A drowsy, that's a, what a depressing drowsy just walking the beach alone. <laughs> Poor guy. A cutie fly. A makuhita. See, he's patrolling the forest. He's looking for the drowsy on the beach. They're going to have, they're going to have words. A reverse, oh, a nice, a rare reverse foil gold duck. That's cool. And for the rare, we got a chew cannon. He's either sleeping or very upset. I cannot really tell. But that gold duck's pretty cool. Okay, we'll put both of them in the rare slot. All right, let me hit on one of these Burning Shadows packs. If anybody wants it, that is a code for a Burning Shadows pack. Enjoy. Two, three, four. Ooh. This this pack smells a lot like Pokemon cards. You know, some packs you don't exactly get that that hint of brand new pack, but this this is definitely one of them. I know I'm a weirdo. Alright, that's a fairy energy. That's an electric, a semi sage, a knocked owl, a stuffle, a mud bray, a tynamo, the yarn tynamo, which is cool. An oddish. A Duskull, a Reverse Stuffle, and for the rare... Ooh, okay, cool. We have a Foil Deance. That's interesting. Pretty cool art. I guess it's appropriate. We got one fairy in the little fairy box. And our last pack is a the last of the Burning Shadows. All right, guys now or never for what i'm not exactly sure our energy is a grass energy that's actually a really cool artwork for electro buzz we have a mount lanakila a kaiwe kiawe kyle kyle a meowth a stuffle pan sage i got pan sage and Simi Sage and Pan Pour and Simi Pour and back to back packs. 
Interesting. Krogunk. Oh, that's a pretty cool artwork of Pikachu. The reverse, we have a foil, a reverse Electros. That's actually pretty nice. I love Electros. I'm a big fan of Electro Pokemon too. And Electros is always just really cool because he's an electric eel who's not water type. It's a big, angry electric eel. And for the rare, we got an Azumarill. Okay, well, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, but I would say the Deancey, the Electros, the Clefable... The Stunfisk, obviously, and the Golduck are pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with, you know, the pulls just trying to expand my collection. Um, I'm, I'm in love with this card, with how it looks. So I pretty much did buy a $50 box just to get one card. But that's neither here nor there. Alrighty, guys, that pretty much wraps everything up. It's all been opened. You've seen my pulls. If you like the video, feel free to drop a like below and subscribe for more content like this. My Instagram and Twitter are in my bio as well. And I will see you guys in the next one when we open up, indubitably, some more packs. Pokemon Trainer George.